is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car and Garage and today we are here with the Cyber Trail Truck and this thing is looking immaculate. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. Be honest with you. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it but I got it done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take it outside for a spin see how it handles, see how it does and everything. And after that, we are going to come back inside the house and we're going to go over it. I'm going to go over it with you guys and show you what I did, how I did what I did, and what I did what I did to get this thing to where it is right now. So let's take this guy, take it outside, and take it for a spin. All right, guys, so here we are outside and here she is. So we're going to take it for a little run and see how it's going to do. I, I hope it does pretty good. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, I am not completely finished with it. As I told you guys uh, earlier, it's not 100% done. The wheels that are on here are temporary wheels and tires that are on. It's just ones I had on my other um, Range Rover build that I had. And I just figured, you know what, just for the time being, just for right now, to get this thing going, let me put them on and see how this thing runs. Uh, I was able to use the same chassis and everything for it and get everything to go on there. So let's uh, turn it on and see what it's gonna do. All right, so temporarily, I ended up putting the on off switch. I hope you guys can see it right back there, right next to the motor. It's not an ideal area, but it's where I have it for right now. The controller I'm using is off of one of my old RCs that I have. Um, I figure for this, it's gonna work for right now. So, all right, this guy is on. Let's see what it can do. guys can see hopefully you guys can see I got to get some stronger uh, springs in the back because it's just so dang low it's really supposed to it's really supposed to be sitting up that high but again I used all the suspension the motor and everything from the WL toys
think I just drove over some dog poop. Ew, dog poop. why you clean up after your dog.
right, so I don't know what just happened. So it's doing pretty good, and now I'm accelerating it, and it ain't doing a damn thing. I think the battery that I have on here, I only have a small little battery on here just for testing purposes. Um, but I think the battery's probably dead. Let's take it back into the office and or the studio, whatever I want to call it. I don't know what to call it. I don't know if I should call it studio or the office. I use I usually call it the office, but uh, I don't know. It's one of those. So let's head back inside and charge up this battery um, and let's go over some things that I'm still going to have to do with this because it's got a lot of potential in it. Um, I don't want it to go faster. Again, I built this trail truck. This is the cyber trail truck. So let's, let, let's just head on inside and let's see what is going on here. All right guys, so we are back in the house with the Cyber Trail Truck and I'm gonna pop the top off and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I did inside, how I got this thing to run with the 14001, 14401 uh, drivetrain. So, body is off, put this to the side here. Now, one thing I did not do, because I wanted to test run this thing and see how it would run the way it is, I never connected the lights. So that's gonna be on the to-do list to get the lights on for this thing for the next video, which will be out after I get all this situated. So let's go over this first. All right, so first thing is first ladies and gentlemen boys and girls so the steering if you guys see here the steering I actually use the steering off of my old RC car here this was an exceed exceed EXCEEDRC -E -E something flying fish or whatever you want to call it so I borrowed the steering off of that I borrowed the servo off of that what I did to mount the servo was I grabbed a piece of aluminum as you guys can see grabbed a piece of aluminum just cut where the yeah I cut a little bit too much but I cut where the servo is going to get mounted and mounted the screw draw some holes out mounted the servo onto that um, the receive the receiver here was also borrowed off of that and that is the radio which I'm not a big fan of <laughs> but to get this thing up and running it works the ESC here so it does say that it's oh where is it where is it where is it where is it right there so it does say that it's it looks like waterproof I'm guessing I don't know but it got really hot right here on the side after I ran it the motor is from the 14.4001 and that got extremely hot but this motor is extremely hot. Uh, it could be due to the pinion. This is still the stock pinion that um, came on the 14.4001. The ESC, that seems pretty hot too. Oh yeah, that's burning up right here on the sides. Like right here on the sides, this thing is burning up. So. Again, this thing is turned into a trail truck, not doing what I was doing with it. Um, the pinion that's on there, that's a stock pinion off of the 14.4001. I did not change it. The reason I did not change that pinion is for the main fact that if you guys see here, if I can get this thing turned. So if you guys see, 
there is no adjustment there's a screw for the motor to hold the motor so there is no adjustment on that for the um, there was no adjustment on that for the motor so I can't there is no way for me to adjust that motor side to side so I can't put a um, smaller pinion on here to give it some more torque I can't do that so what I did was I actually found one and I'm going to be replacing this motor mount that is adjustable so I can put a smaller pinion on here and hopefully the motor will not get as hot and there will be more torque for this setup here uh, the other thing that I did was yeah I use a <laughs> gift card drilled a hole right there secured that onto the chassis and that is my temporary battery mount <laughs> so I did that um, I also got a um, five millimeter connector as you guys can see right there I'll move this around there we go so I got a five millimeter connector because I ordered another 144001 uh, drive shaft center drive shaft here for the front so I got that it's five millimeters I got this connector to connect both of them together that actually works great um, I'm actually amazed that the grub screws didn't try to pull out or anything off of it so as you can see the tires are moving with it and I'm actually amazed how well that came out so the one thing I was worried about, well I already knew it was kind of gonna be a bummer but the one thing that I was worried about with the rear was the shocks because I already knew that these shocks were not going to be able to handle the weight of the body and everything on here so these shocks I'm gonna have to upgrade these shocks um, something probably the springs a little more stiffer or a heavier oil weight in these things uh, as you can, guys can see here I actually uh, adjusted the preload on here try to make this one stiffer because of the weight of the motor so I try to make this one stiffer and this one a little bit lighter because every time the truck would actually sit on the desk uh, this side would be down so it would literally be sitting something like that so I adjusted the preload on it so that way it actually sits normal on here um, now let's check out underneath here so let's check out underneath here so underneath what I did was those are the two screws that are holding on the front end of the vehicle um, was able to drill out those two screws there to hold the motor these two screws here I might have to get a little longer screw here um, and a different type of screw because as you guys can see on that screw right there with it rubbing everything and this hump of the uh, this hump from the old motor I'm not going to be able to I need a something I gotta figure something out uh, else out over here so that is how I did that there um, these two screws right here are holding on the geometry for the steering I ended up taking out this little who dicky here for the steering um, so that's what I ended up doing with that the other thing that I wound up getting for this thing because I didn't know whether the I didn't know whether the chassis was gonna hold up to it but that little bit of uh, running around that I did with it I kind of did a little test to see how the chassis was gonna handle um, I didn't think it was going to last <laughs> realistically and I'm amazed that it actually did the way that it did so yeah I'm kind of amazed with that uh, what I did end up getting so I got here some ABS plastic what I was originally going to do with this was trace out the chassis onto here 
and basically put make this the chassis for that guy. As you guys can see, it's pretty damn long. I don't need anything. I didn't need anything this wide, but it was all I was able to find at the time. So uh, I got that going for me. So if this chassis does end up breaking, or I hope, I hope to God it doesn't, but if it does end up breaking or whatever, I always have the ability to hopefully make my own chassis and really see what this thing can do. But yeah, so now my intention with this thing is to get either a some better shocks for it I gotta see what the millimeters are for this thing get some better shocks for it and get that back end to sit up more than what it was as you guys saw it was dragging its ass I no I don't want it to drag its ass so this truck isn't supposed to be dragging its ass like that the way I showed you the it's literally supposed to sit the wheels are supposed to sit up like this as you guys can see look how much I can bend this chassis <laughs> this is how much I can bend this thing hey it did what it had to do so I was actually happy about that the other thing I might end up doing um, the other thing I might end up doing with this thing is with the mounts right here because I'm basically using the screws to hold the body onto the chassis, I might end up getting magnets to be able to just quick on and off so I can do the battery or do whatever maintenance I have to do with it. Um, but as for that, I think that's where this is at for right now. Um, so I will continue doing stuff with this. And I'm gonna get new wheels, new tires, new suspension, um, new system here, new ESC. Um, gonna get a new ESC for it and get that motor mount, the adjustable motor mount for it so I can be able to put a smaller pinion on here and actually see what this thing can do out on the trails. So, with that guy, with that being said, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video with the uh, Cyber Trail Truck. And let me know down in the comment section if you guys want to see more of the Cyber Trail Truck. And uh, what else should I do with it? Let me know down in the comment section below, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And again, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all in another video. Everybody have a good day, have a good weekend, and you all keep RCing.